Hello, Craig Howard, happy to be with you again today. Um, I got up this morning and I did what I normally do. I start running through my to-do list in my head, things that I've got to get done today or that I at least have to try to get done today. Um, there seems like, I'm sure this is the same way for you, it seems like there's always more on my to-do list to do than I can ever get done. It seems like the more I try to get done, I end up the day, it's just like, okay, that's gotta get put off for tomorrow. I can't get it all done today. Um, the hard part is setting the priorities, figuring out which things do I have to do because it seems like many times many of them are real important to do that that you know I need to get to that and so it seems like you know I really want to do that but then my time runs out and I'm unable to get it done and so trying to figure out the to-do list sometimes is is a challenge but I was thinking about that when I went to my devotions this morning and I just started kind of looking up scriptures that dealt with the issue of priorities and and what should come first and what should be the priority. And I ran across a couple of scriptures that I thought were interesting. Um, it, the first one is found over in Matthew chapter uh, 5, verse, well, starts around verse 23, I guess. It says, um, Therefore you bring your gift to the altar, and there remember that your brother has something against you. Leave your gift before the altar and go your way first. Uh, go your way. First be reconciled to your brother, then come and offer your gift. It's interesting to me that God says before you ever consider this relationship with me, before you ever come to me, before you ever come to worship me, before you ever come to uh, talk to me or pray to me in, 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 in the sense of, you know, obviously he's talking about uh, leaving some sort of a sacrifice or a gift. Uh, he says, my priority is that you reconcile yourself with your brother. My priority is that you try your very best to get things right between you and your brother that you have an issue with. Um, it just shows that in God's priorities, God wants us to be reconciled with one another. He doesn't want us to just continue on in life being angry with our brothers and sisters in Christ uh, or, or unwilling to try and reconcile difficulties with a brother or sister in Christ. And that's not the only priority that, that, God, that God put first in this. If I go back and look at it, um, it talks about over in Matthew chapter 6 verse 33 it talks about how we sometimes start out by worrying about all sorts of things uh, it says over in verse 31 uh, well, I guess I got to back up to verse 30. It says, Now, if God so clothed the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, O you a little faith? Therefore, do not worry, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For after all these things the Gentiles seek. Your heavenly Father knows that you have need of these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. So, he tells us in these two priorities, he says, don't worry about the worldly stuff. Seek God's kingdom first. Seek, uh, seek God's kingdom first. Be reconciled to your brother before you worry about coming and worshiping me. Make sure things are right between you and your brother. You get all this stuff right. He says, there's certain priorities. There's certain things that I want you to get right, that I want you to do first before you do anything else. And one of those things is seek God first, but also be reconciled with your brother before you worry about coming to worship God. He says, your worship is empty. It doesn't mean anything if you're not, if you're, if you're fighting with your brother and not trying to reconcile. So... Well, I'm looking at my time and my time is gone, but these are two things, you know, when you're laying out your, your to-do list for today or for whenever, are two of the things on your to-do list 
to reconcile any problem you have with your brother or sister in Christ or to just seek God above everything else? I hope so. I hope so. Well, my time is gone. I hope you have a great day today. I hope if you do have an issue with a brother or sister, you can work it out today. And I hope before you worry about anything else, you just say, you know what, I'm going to seek God and I'm not going to worry about the other issues in my life, whether or not it's all going to be just the way I want to. I'm going to put God first and somehow it's all going to fall in line. Think about that. I hope you have a great day today. God bless you. Talk to you tomorrow.